But once we've surrendered to this truth, it's very liberating. Instead of chasing this thing that can't be guaranteed, you go back to what made this fun in the first place. Welcome to Flow State, a podcast designed to help you focus. And I'm your host, Bobby Light, here to provide the soundtrack to your work. You're listening to the talk only version of Flow State. In this version, I've removed the music so you can re listen to or share a specific topic I've discussed. Eventually, I may even expand on the topics with longer talk only episodes. Discussing deep work, neurology, peak performance, and of course, the science of flow. Enjoy! I can accept failure, everyone fails at something, but I can't accept not trying. That's Michael Jordan reflecting on his philosophy throughout his career. As one of, if not the greatest basketball player we've ever seen. This mindset illustrates a focus on process over result. I'm reminded of my wife here, who every day commits herself to process over results. As the farmer of our terrace garden, she lays down the soil, plants the seeds, and nurtures the crops with a diligent and hopeful heart. Yet after all of this meticulous preparation, various factors beyond her control, the weather, pests, natural disasters, can sway the yield. All she can do is lay the fertile ground for growth. Through practice, training, persistence, along with avoiding distractions like partying with his teammates in his rookie season, all Michael Jordan did was lay the fertile ground for his peak performance. For me, now that I've committed 100% of my time and energy to this podcast and the Flow State platform, I find myself concerned with the outcome. The stakes are much higher as it's no longer just a side project, so the fears of failure are much louder. I can now see why people advise you to not turn your creative passion into a job, stating that it'll change your relationship to the art But I would argue it's a positive change. When the stakes are low, it's easy to be present with the art. When the stakes are high, it's a lot harder. But this practice and the ability to do so in these high stakes environments yields the greatest flow experience. Dr. K, the founder of Healthy Gamer, is a fast growing name that's helping content creators and gamers but he's not helping them grow their content business. He helps them with their mental health. What's amazing to see is that consistently, the byproduct of improving one's mental health is also the improvement and growth of their content business. This, to me, is a perfect example of laying the fertile ground and letting the results take care of themselves. Creators are looking for a guarantee of success. Dr. K states in his interview with Jay Klaus, but you can't ensure success. This is the biggest delusion on the planet. But once we've surrendered to this truth, it's very liberating. Instead of chasing this thing that can't be guaranteed, you go back to what made this fun in the first place. Whether you're a content creator or not, I believe this holds true for every aspect of our life. We can't control what we can't control, but we give ourselves the best chance of success when we work from our peak potential at any given moment. It's not about chasing success, but rather creating the fertile ground from which success is inevitable. Even as a husband, all I can do is be the best friend and partner I can be, but I cannot control how my wife feels Similarly, I can't control how successful flow state is. Knowing this is not scary though. It's actually very liberating. What I can control is my daily practice of being in flow. Being in flow with my music, my reading, my writing, 
I know when I sleep well, go for a long walk, meditate, and do these things with my music. Yes, I'm a bit OCD creating playlists for every moment of my life. But when I do this, the joy of the process and my flow emerge. And in turn, concerns of the future disappear. Does this lead to success? I don't know. I don't control that. But I know I give myself the best chance. It's not about chasing success, but creating the fertile ground from which success is inevitable. When I'm on the court, I'm in the zone. I don't really think about anything. I'm just reacting and everything else is blocked out. That's Serena Williams on being in the zone. Here's Pablo Picasso describing flow while painting. When I'm in my painting, I'm not aware of what I'm doing. It is only after a sort of get acquainted period that I see what I have been about. I have no fears about making changes, destroying the image, etc. Because the painting has a life of its own. In both of these examples, and countless more, we see top performers immersed in the process and completely forgetting about the outcome. But how do these examples apply to business? How does the flow state apply here? I've already shared the example of Dr. K guiding his clients away from performance metrics and towards better mental health, which ultimately led back to their best work. But we can see the idea of process over results in investing as well. Can you name a successful capital investor that chased success? Does Warren Buffett chase success? The profession of investing capital, especially your own capital, is one in which you will get destroyed for chasing success. Paul Tudor Jones, known for his aggressive and adaptive trading style, does not chase success. Instead, he focuses on a robust process that accounts for the uncontrollable. Just as we cannot control the outcomes of our efforts, the stock market serves as a microcosm of this reality, where unpredictability is a given. Knowing this, Paul has created a system in which he does not fear the outcome. Paul's fund has been in existence for over 43 years now and is going strong. But since its inception, he has made several wrong calls, none of which has sunk his company. In 1994, he made a wrong call betting on the continued rise of the bond market. When the trade went south, he was not only protected with his risk management strategy, but his process allowed his team to quickly respond and adapt to the situation. Like many, Paul's fund was also affected by the dot-com and 2008 financial crisis. But not only did his firm survive, but it continued to find success all thanks to a system that didn't fear any outcome and instead was built with the right systems and processes to withstand any situation. Whether it's mastering your flow state or crafting systems to navigate uncertainty, it's the process that paves the way for long-term success. So how do you lay the fertile ground for inevitable success? What soil have you cultivated? Have you positioned it in the best spot for sunlight? And what seeds have you planted considering the natural climate? How frequently do you water it with care and attention? Or are you too busy worrying about the perfect weather? So let's just say I focus on my flow state. I really harness my flow with music, reading, and writing. No matter what I do, flow state is not able to succeed. And I have to shut the project down and find something else to do. When I think about this, I actually have no fear of it. 
Because if I have spent these years and all this time harnessing my flow state, developing this ability to cultivate, essentially practice my ability to cultivate my peak performance, that I'm not really worried about whether flow state succeeds or it doesn't and I have to find some other endeavor because ultimately I know that I have developed myself to a point that something I do will succeed. (laughs) And that's really the way I think about this. And that's kind of the final closing thoughts I wanted to add to this because I still hear, maybe it's my own voice or possibly voices out there saying, oh, that's a bunch of baloney. (laughs) Sounds like you're giving yourself a consolation prize for trying. Do your best and at least you did your best. No, I'm not even, I don't think what I'm sharing here is a figurative, just do your best with a fist pump in the air. No, I feel what I'm trying to express here is to do your physical, literal best. And what I have learned time and time again from everything I've read, from everything I've experienced, is your flow state, the state in which you are completely immersed in the work, is by definition where you lose sight of outcome and where all of your attention is on the task at hand. And so by definition, this is your best. This is your peak performance. And your peak performance may not lead to success today, but continue to cultivate that it will inevitably lead to success, some form of success. Um, Now, hopefully that success is in alignment with what you've defined. Some people have defined success as just making a ton of money and they're in their 50s and 60s realizing that they would have been much happier if they made less money and spent more time with their family. So that's a whole nother subject. But... What I will say is, for whatever you've defined, the ability and practice to cultivate your peak performance will eventually lead to success more than anything. You know, Michael Jordan, he could have been genetically gifted with less height. Uh, maybe he was a foot shorter than he than. Michael Jordan we know, and maybe he would have won zero championships. But I think if he still had the same mindset and the same attention to his process, I think he would have achieved his peak potential. And I think that would have led to some form of success that Maybe on the outside, we wouldn't have seen, but but that doesn't really matter. Ultimately, he has the experience of continuing to cultivate his peak performance. You know, the more I talk about this, I can't really get out of this idea that people will dismiss this because they feel they're so attached to the outcome. And to that I can say, I think that's a surefire way to fail. Thanks for listening today. And thanks for letting me ramble on a little bit here. I hope you got a lot done. I hope you learned something. And I hope you were reminded to focus on the things you can control. Focus on cultivating the systems and processes for your peak performance. 
your flow state. And until next time, keep on flowing.